Hello everyone guys and girls, it's Stradus here and Let's Build a City is back! Yes that's right everyone, Stradus here and we are back for episode number 6 of Let's Build a City in Minecraft on Xbox One. I'm really sorry guys it's been such a long time but I think I've now got the time to manage to carry on this series again. So I'm going to basically get straight back into it with you guys. Uh, like I say, it's been a very long time. And yeah, it's been about three months, I think. But I've got some... I've had the plans anyway. And so we're basically going to crack on with it straight away. Obviously, you could see we was in the city uh, right at the beginning of the video. However, I am going to take a little break from the city. And we're going to start with something a bit, a bit different and quite exciting, I think. We are going to be starting a farm. Yes, we're going to build a farm. Uh, and it's going to be in this part here where I've flown over. As you can see, it's right on the edge of the map uh, on the west side. So it, it will actually go very, very slightly out the map. As you can see, I've gone into a little white circle here. Uh, but it's only just. Uh, the most of it will be on the map. Uh, not that that really matters anyway. It's just obviously you got to make sure you, you can find the the, <laughs> the building. You don't want to fly off the map and not, then forget where you built it. That's obviously not a good idea. <laughs> anyway, you can see there is a red rectangle here. I'm just trying to gauge my plans here on what the farm layout is going to be like. And I've decided, as you can see, there's great land here for the farm. It's it's perfect, really. And it's, it's quite flat. So the entrance to the farm is going to be around here. There is a cave down here. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep that or not yet. There's going to be roads coming here. Of course, the roads will come uh, over a long period of time. Of course, once we build the whole map up, roads will appear. But there will be roads coming from this direction. The entrance will be here. And I'll have like a dirt track going down the centre of the farm. And either side, we're going to have uh, farm-related things such as crops and cattle. Uh, various animals such as pigs, cows, sheep. Uh, little things like that, maybe a few ducks as well, and we're going to have some crops this side. The barn is going to go here, so we're going to have a barn. I, th I think it's going to be red. I think that's why I used red. I think red looks quite good. Red and white. I think that's a nice look for a barn, don't you guys? So that's where the, the barn's going to be anyway. We're going to have a farmhouse, and this is another thing I need to decide. Where the farmhouse is going to go? Am I going to keep it down here on the floor, or as you can see... It's quite a nice part here where we can build it slightly raised up on this small mountain because it's nice and flat. So that might work as well. That will be something I will have to think about. So that's basically how it's going to be. We're going to have more of the animals this side and more crops this side. So the animals can be on this bit of land here which kind of free flows into the forest here. Of course we'll fence it all off, make sure it looks all nice and neat. And, of course, we can do anything we like around here as well. It's still very early stages in the plan. But that's that's what I'm going to be concentrating on in the next couple of episodes. So, uh, the, this and the next episode is basically what it's going to be. In this episode, I'm just really touching on my refreshed ideas. Uh, because it's been such a long time, I think I need to update your, you guys on what my plan is right now on this build. So, like I said, I'm going to concentrate on this farm right here. So I'm not going to do any specific building today. I will do some off camera and then we can get into some good building on the, in the next episode. But I hope after this episode you will be quite well clued up on what's going on. And yeah, basically get back into the series because it would be pretty cool to do that, don't you think? So I'm just going to fly back over to, si to the city now. Ideas that... I really like all of them actually, they do look pretty cool. There is a texture pack out now, I think it's, a, I can't remember if it's a Chinese sort of ch texture pack or like an Oriental Asian sort of texture pack, but this tower here in that texture pack looks amazing and it really does make sense to be honest because this tower, which is called Tower 101 in real life, is a, an Asian skyscraper, you will find it. In, in Asia and it looks really good in the, the Asian texture pack which is perfect 
Um, obviously these go a little bit weird but yeah this one looks awesome but I'm really happy with them all guys and nothing has changed everything has stayed the same obviously we've got our roads here I need to do my bridge going over the water we still got the hotel kind of got a bit stuck here at the moment because there's so much to do inside and a lot to think about of course I did mention before in one of the old episodes that I want all the rooms to be in here as you can see that's going to be a big project uh, despite the building not being huge, there is still a lot of work to do because it involves a lot of demolition as well. So there's that as well. I'm still in the process of getting rid of this this uh, half mountain here. You can see the remnants of some TNT. So that's there. And then of course, like I said before, we're going to have some smaller apartment buildings and things like that all around here. Uh, we probably will have a few more smaller skyscrapers as well in this area here as well. Uh, just to phase out the height of the building because I don't want loads and loads and loads of really tall buildings but I kind of don't just want three as well I kind of want you know a mixture this is going to be the center point they're going to be the tallest and it wants to be surrounded by slightly shorter buildings and then we're going to have smaller buildings out here and I really I really think it's important to try and keep the integrity of the map uh, trying to not just pave over with one huge flat land surface because otherwise what's the point in generating a random seed you might as well have a flat seed but I don't want that I want to try and keep the natural look of the map and I'm trying to work with the heights I don't like I just said I don't want lots of building on one level I do want to try and step the roads down a bit so what the roads going to do is come down here a bit and then it's going to come to some buildings down here as well. We're probably going to have some shops and things like that around here. Uh, so that's that. Because obviously if I do keep it the same level over here, we're going to be quite high up. We're going to be paving over at about this level. And that that's just basically covering up all those trees. And I don't see the point in that because we're going to be losing all that water as well. So I really want to keep it the natural look here. And if we can keep a lot of the forest as well, that'd be great. Because it, it looks a bit more realistic. And that's just the complete package of a city, you know, really. It's not just all about a big concrete jungle. It's all about getting a nice balance of everything. And that's kind of what I'm trying to aim here for. And that's why I want my city to be so unique to the others. Because I, I see a lot of people build cities and they just use a big flat land. And it looks pretty boring, to be honest. You know, despite it being obviously a lot of hard work, it looks quite bland and nothing looks different. And I want mine to be unique. I want everything to just flow. I think that's the best way to describe it. Nice and flow. And I hope to inspire a lot of you guys to also build like this. It, it, it takes a lot more creativity, I think. And a lot more planning as well. Because you need to plan around the environment rather than just build over the environment. And yeah, that's just... I think that's the best way to go forward here. And it's the best way to be creative, I think, as well. Uh, because you can see here I've kind of tried to stick with the land of course we're going over the water a bit there but once I finish that off it'll look good guys I, I promise <laughs> so we'll just quickly go back over to the farm now I'm just going to wrap this up video uh, wrap this video up quite quickly I don't want it to be too long episode number seven will be about 20 minutes where we'll get into some good building and I'll show you guys what I've been doing uh, this will be quite a lot more built up I'll make sure I've got all the plans out and then you guys can see exactly what's what's gonna what it's gonna look like because at the moment I'm sure uh, it it doesn't look like much, but it will and it will look cool. I think to have a farm will just be one of those things that's got to be in a city. It kind of sounds a bit weird, I guess, a farm in a city. But when I say a city, it's more like a a big mass of land. We've got a city, but then we've got lots of other things as well. We've got the countryside. We've got the airport. We've got the suburban areas we've got everything guys absolutely everything and the map is not the limit we'll go as far as it as far as we need as far as what feels right uh, what whatever balances the map out so yeah that's the plan at the moment guys so expect the next episode to be on the farm and i hope you look forward to that guys my name is strudders and i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you want to keep up with this series and that's all see you now